out today? There you go. You're up. Good morning. My name is Amber Wolf, and I am the Community Engagement Director for the Arthritis Foundation in Indiana. And I'm here with you today to talk about some of the different arthritis aids and tools that can help you in your home, in your yard, and in your car to make living a little bit easier for you. A few background facts about the Arthritis Foundation. We are the leading organization in the country that works with arthritis as a disability and a disease for both youth and adults. We have right now the estimation of one in every five Americans has some form of arthritis related disabilities and diseases. And that number actually, according to the CDC, has increased to one in four just very recently. Unfortunately, we have 300,000 children with some form of juvenile arthritis, and we have millions of dollars being spent in our economy every year for arthritis related aids, medications, and other types of um, control and management techniques. So today I wanted to give you a little background about what we can do for you as a foundation, as well as talking about some of the resources and aids that might help you every day. We have four different pillars in the Arthritis Foundation that will help you to maintain your independence, give you the help and support you need, and locate resources that might be beneficial for you with your arthritis. Our help and support pillar works with the community doing outreach and education, while our scientific discovery pillar works with research. Our community and connections pillar has help and support groups. We have different ways that you can network with other individuals and your physicians, and even work with advocacy and outreach. <coughs> so for today's topics, we are going to talk about those physical limitations that you might experience with arthritis. We are going to talk about some of the assistive tools and modifications that you can use in your home, the Arthritis Foundation's Ease of Use program, and some free Arthritis Foundation resources that you can go online or even call a toll-free number to get for yourself at any time. A little bit about the basics of arthritis, just to make sure that we're all on the same page. Arthritis is simply defined as the inflammation of a joint in your body. Now that can be any of the joints, whether it's one individual, like your elbow or your knee, or it could be several joints that are all affected by different forms of arthritis. Many of these forms are inflammatory, and they cause things like fatigue, limited range of motion, decreased grip strength, and they tend to affect you in a very physical way. There are also several rheumatic forms of the disease or autoimmune forms that actually occur more internally in the body where the body is causing that inflammation. So as we talk about arthritis, please make sure you know that we are not only discussing osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, but all of the different relatable forms of the disease as well. So it's very important that you work with your own rheumatologist or your physician to make sure that any of these management techniques are truly right for you. So those common physical limitations that we are going to try to address today with the different home aids and devices. Usually with arthritis, you're going to see things like a decreased grip strength in your hands, a limited range of motion, maybe in your shoulders, your hips, or even in your lower back, difficulty bending and stretching, depending on where your joint inflammation and pain may be, and sometimes just also a very general fatigue. And these four limitations make it very difficult sometimes to get through your everyday life, to get through your normal routines, and even throughout your workday. So I'd like to talk with you today about how some of these assistive devices, modified tools, and other aids you might find in a store or on the internet can actually help you. But before we get into that, I do want to make sure that you have a few things on a checklist as you're seeking out some of these devices. When you are searching for something to help you with your arthritis pain, first off, it's very important that you be selective. You need to figure out what is it exactly that you are trying to accomplish. Are you having difficulty in your kitchen? Are you having difficulty in your bedroom getting dressed and putting on your jewelry? Is it a difficulty in your car while you're driving? Make sure you're looking for a very specific tool that's really going to help you with what you need. You also want to make sure that you're looking for something that has some texture to it, especially if your arthritis pain is in your hands and you have grip problems. For example, a slick glass that you're going to have a beverage in is harder to hold than something that has some bumps or some ridges for some texture. Look for products that require minimal upkeep and are obviously safe to use. Also look for products that are lightweight. 
anything that's very heavy or cumbersome is very often going to cause more arthritis pain and joint stiffness and difficulty than something that's lightweight and easy to carry. You're going to look for products that are easy to open and close. Anyone who has had arthritis pain in your hands knows that sometimes it's very difficult to grab a small twist off top or a tab to pull. Find things that have easy, um, easy to open lids or easy to open twisting and, and locking tops. Um, sometimes they either flip open or maybe have a different um, apparatus that can help you to get that open. Also look for items that are comfortable to wear, carry, or operate. Um, for example, if you work in your yard very often, sometimes using a weed eater can be very difficult. Is there a tool out there, and, and there are, that you can find that allow you to support that weight and carry that weight on your back rather than using your arms? So find a way to be able to transfer that weight. Also look for items that are very simple and practical. You certainly don't need items that have all of the fancy bells and whistle whistles and things that glitter and shine when all you really need is just a very simple tool to be able to open your drink in your kitchen. And lastly, look for products that are not cumbersome to use. Products that can be carried close to your body using the largest joint possible kind of takes away that pressure on your arms, your back, and your neck. And one of the easiest things that you can do when you are looking for products for any type of arthritis pain is to look for something that has the Arthritis Foundation's Ease of Use commendation. And the Ease of Use program is just simply something that um, is put in place by the Arthritis Foundation where the producer or the manufacturer of a product willingly asks for that product to be tested both by professionals and by users and consumers to see if it is safe and easy for someone to use that has arthritis pain. There are three categories that tools will fall into, health and wellness, home and hobbies, and then work products. This is very easy to use and find online at the website that you see on the screen, simply by going to arthritis.org and following through on the links to get to the ease of use program. So if you are starting your search to buy something, this is a great place to start. So as we move forward in the program today, we're gonna to talk about three separate areas of tools, in your home, in your yard, and in your car. We're going to get started with in your home. There's going to be several pictures that I'm going to show you in this category, and I will start this section and all of the sections by saying that you uh, will need to do a general search to find some of these. Um, they are not all carried in every convenience store or Walmart or Meyer or Target. Some of them are only available online through certain different uh, manufacturers, and I've included some websites at the end that you can use to start your search for these items but also a basic Google search for arthritis and the type of joint pain and the type of problem you're having will help you find some of these items. So moving forward into some of the first sets of pictures of things in your home. Again, it depends on where your arthritis pain is affecting you. If it is pain in your hands and your fingers, you might find yourself having difficulties operating your computer or writing with pens. Um, some of the other images on this sh screen will show you a button hook for those of you who have difficulty uh, doing buttons or snaps on your clothing, and even a doorknob grip. These doorknob grips are very easy to find and easy to see. And with arthritis pain in your hands, twisting and turning around knob is very difficult. So if you don't have lever type knobs, you can easily find these rubber grips to put on your door handles all the way throughout your house. Uh, they can also kind of be cross used for other things that you need to twist and turn, whether it's opening the top of a bottle or even turning on your hose outside in your garden. Some other small things recreationally, you'll see a, a card holder at the bottom for people who have difficulty holding or grasping cards. There's also some pictures of a shoe puller and some support poles to help you in your room or getting dressed. And also a really neat conversion option that will turn all of your lamps into a touch lamp. And this is something that you can find at several stores, but it provides you the opportunity to not have to twist or grasp a small knob to turn your lamps on. You can turn any e lamp very easily into a touch lamp. This is obviously not a, an exact list of things that can help you in your home, only so many would fit on this slide. But again, it gives you an idea of some things that might help you in your day-to-day -day activities. I wanna draw your attention to the picture in the very middle of the slide because very often with someone who has lower back pain or arthritis in their hips, just simply rising and lowering out of a chair can be very difficult. They make very easy um, small cushions that can go on your chairs that have a spring in them that will help you to be able to get in and out of your chair on your own. So this is something that you can very easily look into or even start out small just using your own pillow. 
The next set of slides has some items that are tools that are very specific to the kitchen. Uh, when we talk to people and ask them about the most difficult things that they do with their arthritis pain, it generally ends up being things related to their hands in the kitchen while they're cooking. So you can see several images here that give you the opportunity to um, support your hands in a better position and also to decrease the amount of grip that you have to use in the kitchen. So you'll see a very interesting looking pistol shaped knife that has a handle on the top left that allows you to cut more like a saw so you're not turning your wrist into an awkward position. There's a photo here of a bag carrier that allows you to carry your grocery bags, again, giving you a larger handle and a more secure grip. A reaching tool is very important anytime you're in the kitchen because if you have limited range of motion in your shoulders or in your back, sometimes reaching up and grabbing things that are above your, um, your normal range is very difficult. These are very easy to find in just about any store possible. There are some very unique dispensers here for the, um, for the beverages, some, uh, a rocker for a gallon of orange juice and even a, um, a pump type apparatus for a gallon of milk that you can see there. Some increased handles for diameter grip on any of your utensils or your toothbrush in the middle, and even a pop tab holder that can be used there at the bottom to help leverage off the top of your cans. The interesting picture in the left is actually the same item, and this is a very unique item that you can find online that allows you to, uh, to be able to either open pop tops, turn and twist bottle caps and tabs, use it as a clip to grasp something, um, or even open larger jars. So that's a very universal type tool that you can find online um, that will help you with many things in your kitchen. So we're going to move on now to things that can help you in your yard. And this is an area that I love talking about simply because working in the yard and garden um, is something that we're all doing right now, especially in central Indiana. It's a great season for it and we're spending a lot of time outside, but sometimes the arthritis pain can take that away from us. So there are some aids that can be very, very helpful. The first thing I want you to do when you're considering working in the yard is to consider the type of grip that you're putting on your tools. A good grip is going to allow you to hold your wrist in a neutral position, more like you would if you were holding a, a pistol or a saw blade, versus holding a straight handled tool that's going to put your wrist in an awkward position and it's also going to put a lot of stress and strain on your wrist. The other thing I would like you to consider is the grip diameter of any tool you're using. A general rule of thumb is that your thumbnail should barely overlap the four fingernail on your hand that's holding the tool. And if they overlap too much or not enough, then that grip diameter is not adequate for the size of tool that you're using for your hand. You can fix this very easily by adding some duct tape or some insulation around a tool handle or finding something that's a smaller size that's going to fit you a little bit easier to make you not have to have such a hard grip. Moving on to the next slide, there's a few other things that go along with this type of tool working with your hands. Um, Anti-vibration gloves are great for people with arthritis pain in the yard and garden that are using lawn mowers or weed eaters um, or any other type of apparatus, maybe like hedge trimmers that cause vibration. These anti-vibration gloves will absorb that shock and will prevent that vibration from going through your wrists and your elbows and all the way up into your shoulders. The image on the right is very simply a homemade tool that allows you to take that straight handle tool that would normally put your hand in an awkward position and cause you to grip. And by adding a simple strap of Velcro and a little bit of pipe insulation, you're able to then use that uh, tool to be able to keep your hand in a straight position, causing you to not have to decrease or increase your grip any, um, in any exponential way to make you able to use that tool. Finding a way to keep your hands in a straight neutral position is always going to be better. So a few more slides full of images and pictures that may give you some ideas of how to make your everyday gardening easier. These are some great things that I have found at different gardening stores um, across the state or things that can be found online. And I wanted to draw your attention to just a few of them specifically. Um, in the top left corner, you'll see an image of a gentleman holding a long handled tool or a rake. Anytime you can add an additional handle to those long handled tools, you're decreasing the amount of stress on your shoulders and on your lower back, requiring you to only be able to utilize your shoulders and your upper body for the strength and not have to twist or bend at the hips as much as you would with a normal long handled tool. You can add an additional handle like that very easily on your own with some PVC pipe or a dowel rod, or you can purchase additional handle kits at a hardware store. Other things that make gardening easier are things like self-propelled wheelbarrows. 
Uh, if you are going to use a wheelbarrow, always try to find one that has a solid handle that goes across the front so you can push with your body strength instead of having to lift up on the two separate handles. Using things like power tools to run your bulb augers as you're planting your bulbs in your flower beds. And even using kneeling pads that turn into benches to give yourself some support while you're working in the garden. A good rule of thumb is always to never get down on the ground without some sort of support to be able to get yourself back up. And those kneeling benches and carts can really help with that quite a bit. The shovel step and the locking hose sprayer, the garden cuff with the pistol grip, and even things like the small bag grip are just general small tools that you can find at most of your hardware stores to help make jobs just a little bit easier. So again, determine and be selective. What do you need help with in the garden? And are any of these tools something that might work for you? Another option for working in your garden is to simply modify some of the ways that you might do things. Now in the middle, we still have a few pictures of some modified garden aids that are very helpful. The bottom, we have um, some telescoping tools so you can work at short distances or long distances in your garden without having to bend or twist or get down on your knees in the garden. The top image is a picture of a garden rocker, which is a very unique little tool that is basically shaped like an upside down mushroom. And it allows you to adjust the height and sit on this overturned bowl and rock your way around your garden, whether you need to lean forward, backward, left or right, again, without twisting and really making your lower back be very stressed and strained. The other images are just simply fun ways to modify your garden and, and raise things up a little bit. Because again, lowering and decreasing the amount of time that you have to bend and twist is very important with arthritis pain. So find a way to bring those flowers and vegetables up a little bit closer to you. Use a creative old way with an old dresser or some hanging gutters for your salad, lettuces, and your herbs. Find a way to have fun with your garden, but also a way that's going to decrease the amount of pain that you have while you're working outside. So moving on from our garden, we're going to move into talking about some things in your car. And anyone who has been driving with arthritis for any amount of time knows that you can probably start a list of ways that that arthritis pain is affecting you. Whether it's in your hands as you're gripping the steering wheel, maybe it's in your lower back and your legs as you're trying to get in and out of your car. Maybe it's putting on your seatbelt or trying to turn and look in your mirrors. There are several small tools out there that can help you handle a lot of these issues with your arthritis pain. And again, it just comes down to finding these items, whether it's online or in your local store, or maybe calling around to see what other people have been using for this same type of, of problem. So looking at some of these images, you'll see things like a swivel seat that allows you to sit on the seat of your car and, and swivel and turn yourself into the car instead of having to lift and pull your knees and your hips up into the seat. There's an image at the top also of a key holder because with arthritis pain, sometimes gripping that small key and getting it in the door of your car or getting it into the ignition is very difficult. And this larger key handle gives you the option of using more of your hand for that control. There's a picture here of a steering wheel adaption that also lets you not have to grip and grab that steering wheel. And if you don't wanna to go to this full route of adapting your full steering wheel, you could even do something just simply as easy as finding a steering wheel cover at Walmart or Target that gives you a nice soft grip and increases that diameter to allow you to hold onto that steering wheel longer with less pain. Adding additional sets of mirrors is very helpful for people with arthritis because it re resists the amount or lowers the amount of times that you have to turn and twist to maybe check your blind spot or look behind you as you're moving out of a parking spot or changing lanes. It's very easy to add additional mirrors to your car with just stick on mirrors you can buy at an auto parts store. Take a, a quick trip to your auto parts store and find out how they can help you either add an additional mirror or just put a small sticker mirror on the outside of the one you already have. There are different tools to help you with opening your gas cap and even holding the gas pump as you're putting fuel into your car. Sometimes just maintaining that grip on a gas pump that doesn't lock in place is not very easy for a person with arthritis. They do make tools to help with things like this. They also make tools that help you to get in and out of your car as um, a strap that hangs from the frame or even small hinges that go into the side of the door to give you a support. There are also running boards that help with entering and exiting your vehicle, especially if you drive a taller SUV or a truck and even steps that can be used to access the bed of a truck so you're not having to climb up onto the bumper and onto the tailgate and then the worst part is getting back down again. Using a set of these steps that sometimes are now coming um, straight from the manufacturers themselves but can easily be obtained at different auto parts stores 
is very, very helpful if you're the type of person who works in the beds of trucks quite often. And you'll also see an image there of a seatbelt holder because some people have difficulty just simply reaching around their shoulders to grab their seatbelt to be able to buckle that in place. And a very easy adaption there is just that piece of rubber that you can buy at most pharmacies to add onto your seatbelt. And then the picture in the middle is just simply one showing you your correct posture. Posture is very important when you're driving. It will give you the um, either a, an additional amount of pain based on poor posture or can help alleviate several um, levels of stress on your joints by having correct posture. This can be fixed very simply with additional cushions in your car, um, auto adjusted and automatic seats in your vehicle, or even going out and purchasing an ergonomic back support from an, a, an office supply store can help tremendously with your posture there. So as we have went over some of these tools, again, with your home and in your yard and in your garden, this is not an exhaustive list. There are hundreds of other tools that are out there that could be helpful for you. And again, it just depends on the type of need that you have. So what I'd like to do is wrap up today with some additional resources from the Arthritis Foundation that we can help you with, that we can provide to you free, either over the phone or via the internet, um, that I would suggest everybody take a chance and, and take the time to go and request these items just to see if there's something out there that could help you. The first one is called our Better Living Toolkit. And the Better Living Toolkit is a free resource that you can get at betterlivingtoolkit.org or by calling toll free 800-283-7800. And you will simply request uh, this toolkit based on the type of arthritis that bothers you the most. They will tailor this toolkit to fit your needs. You'll get the most recent Arthritis Today magazine and a health tracker and our drug guide but also several brochures that are very much focused on the type of arthritis that might be bothering you. And again, this is a free resource for anyone who needs it. The next is an online exercise program. It's called Your Exercise Solution, or YES. And basically what this is, is a very personalized exercise plan for those of you who either want to maintain your fitness level and your activity level, or for those of you who think you want to be a little more active. Sometimes with arthritis, it's very easy for us to decide that we can't be active or we don't want to be. But in reality, moving is actually one of the best things that you can do for arthritis pain. And this exercise solution online, again, you can go through um, arthritis.org to find this, will help you to identify where you have specific pain and what your current level is, which then will help you determine what are you capable to do as far as an exercise regimen goes. Not everyone is going to be the same. This will help you determine what is safe, what is easy for you to do, but what is also going to be helpful. And another good thing to do here would just be to simply talk to your physician and see what your physical levels are. The last resource that I'd like to share with you is our new resource finder. And this is the best way that you can find any service in your area. And this goes for anyone across the country. Simply by going to resourcefinder.arthritis.org, you can put in your zip code and determine the type of need that you have, whether it's finding free print resources, finding a local um, activity center or a location that is holding classes on maybe it's Tai Chi or aquatics or even self-help programs. Maybe you just simply need to talk to someone and you need to find a rheumatologist or a physician or an arthritis foundation office in your area. You can go to this website and locate all of those things very simply with just a few clicks of your mouse. So I'd like to end today with some of the websites that I like to use when I'm looking for these different aids that we've talked about today. Going to any type of Google search or internet search and typing in arthritis aids or arthritis tools is going to help you locate several other resources as well. But these are some of the ones that I like. I feel that they are um, good quality products and I feel like they're very fair and easily priced. So if you do decide you want to look up some of your own items, this is a good place to start. But certainly look around home as well. You may find a few things that surprise you just in your local store. So with that, I would like to say thank you for spending your time with us today and look for us during our next show that we should have scheduled coming up in just a few months. Goodbye from the Arthritis Foundation.